here's my new poem cycle uh, it's called Uncity they held a fashion show on the morning of our discovery of the trombone mute I'm in my shower curtain frock and she regal in the nets we used to dredge the lake stare at each other across the hooked gouged formica table as if we have nothing to say the milk in our cereal so cold it leaves ice beards on the lips of our bowls outside our lamb rays at the uncoming mailman as if our lives depended on knowing of his approach the wind hurled prow swings leeward to run south to break up the slip ice of the catwalk The black ice weaves itself like leaves, undispersing the light, each hydrostat a pre-coded strategy of capture, each a blade. The stoplight camera runs out of film long before money loses its value. A mailroom breach, its sort left to the lichen among the slots in and out boxes, the people clumped fungi, pieces of them are hacked off, smaller stalks rise among the waist-high grasses that engulf our sidewalks, their letters lost, his text left unanswered, I don't know, Kyle slowly loads the revolver of late night. At my terminal, ASCII opens and closes its sideways mouth the way each crowd has its yeses and its noes. The umbrellas bloom in unison to catch water in their beaks. I watch their beaks move. The vocoder matches signals predetermined to be melody. I think this is crying. This is to rock myself gently. This is to decode, to unalienate. They stare and jabber. The storefront is theirs. Wings mantle this meal. My ear is struck by their fist. Double animal style. Fries, well done. Coke. Fox squawk. It's not to be permitted. The last squeal as the hook goes in each suture between you and I begins with some laceration. Locomotive, like daggers, each use of the word I, coal handed, each big bodied I wants you to lay down on my tracks to sleep beautifully. The coordinates of our cage affixed in our wet work memory banks, rearing I dash myself into you, weaving layer of coaxial cables, horror of the parallel mystery. Join me at the erasure of our horizon line. Clutch the corrugated aluminum of our shack. Am I emulating the correct pitches of their love songs? Or are the diesel bodies of gods thrumming along my tracks to make deaf our pleas? And then, as if pleading before us, it opened. We with our shivs to the lamb's belly. And then we painted our faces, told our fortunes. Is this a uh, wake? Is this work? The multiple unsorted letters all say the same thing, strung out like the radio's lungs. Twelve hundred voices play the same songs, demanded by the same closed door committee. I confuse them. The difference between being in my body and using my body. The threshold of some time clock. The shock of near death is an awareness of the composite materials we are all made of, as if all the laughter curled inside this one moment of departure. Because even this threshold is password protected, but our muscles have deeper memory of these rituals than we do. The trickle up politics of predation, recapitulated by economists and the people we let lead us to a chalk outline of a supermarket. I decode the mail, and inside each envelope is a fresh wrapped commodity, fresh wrapped in the individual for sale packaging, fresh, fresh. Am I asleep at work again?
an individual for sale. Nietzsche strokes the long nose of the horse. They lean into the quick wonder of her breathing. Unbit, unbridled, unlashed, unbearable lightness. Am I asleep at work, again interrogating the petroglyph of boredom, or the monitor blinks tears from its screen? Someone must reimagine this place as a livable space. Black shuck bellows in the hollow grove of their beaks. The cancer slows and sleeps beyond the wings of solar panels begin to fly. Under the fury of the pale moon, a series of photographs illustrate a horse running itself to death. The close-up of dear woman's mascara running with her eyes green. They bore through the celluloid. Am I asleep at work again? Collect the dew from the lens of the fallen long tongues deep inside their gas mask. Imagine being the desperate hand that cranks the air raid siren. See the vox golem lean its head back. Sweat swept from the sonic assault of its lips to warm of the inbound cherubim. There, Newtonian masses of fire Scrambled every networked eye, impugning thrust judgment, naked into another and another passerby. Am I asleep at my cubicle again? The omnipresent vacuum cleaners strain, but make no sound. We inverse the debris we suck in to eat. Our own blows about us incoherently, as if... And if American, always much too loudly. Am I awake at work again? Warming the last potato over the transistor tube's buzz. Am I awake and jobless? The structure set us aside. Am I asleep on the couch with my wife and the boys watching TV? The wolf cubs play hide and seek in the dandelions. Gray tufts blowing in the grass, spreading lawn to lawn. Yellow, I rub this one under your chin. Nuzzle, my love. Pollen marking you yellow as the sun spots each of us, a finger reaching into space to shade our eyes. Lift up these heads, let us unweep. Lift up these heads, let us unweep. My hands on your waist, your tears inches from my lips. I would recognize you anywhere, in any form. This falling into this family, this movement of the sun behind your head and the faces of our children on your loom. We have slain the unicorn evils, with each hand fasting made friends with the dark. We have lain among the forms of the world and screamed the songs of longing. How could I leave you among these blind working people? On my way home, I saw two homeless tribes fighting over a stolen bicycle. They began killing each other with rocks and cloth-wrapped glass shivs from dropped storefront windows. As the ramshackled, defeated tribes sped away, the victorious one began to scream at each other and tear at each other's faces. It seems pointless to me as I got into my car and drove off, but to them, access to a bicycle is a promotion. The freedom to, and a wider range from, which to collect cans and plastic stuffed into plastic bags that bowed handlebars and outrider pegs. I watched them stand on the pedals to move their heavy loads into the passing day, ruled by the overlooking saints. Locked in you, I remember the crippled man's crutch that I stole. I put you to my lips and blow. I'm sure perfect, but in faint memory adequate. My lips press to yours, this melody of mine, as I move the telescoping slide in and out to follow some thread I found, and begin to weave you waves and arm motions until I pull myself into a ball wrapped around the victoral Rolla with a disconnected speaker and play Igor's Firebird Suite, feel the pulse of the box while the needle and turntable heat the grooves into this distorted signal where I am the lungs and the vibration and the composition and the deep movement of the horn section in those goddamn strings celebrating rich 
return, return, this last moment, return. I smell your hair on my shoulders that I would find in my car days later and smile your passage through my life as touchable as a sum beauty of all landscapes sunsets you hold me like an anthem to fight off the blistered feet the mantra of the board you fire in the night of those who would lay down and die and the street lamps extinguished and i hear the boy stir and i smile ready to renew the oligarch cycle and Kyle grins the grin of chains and fences. Ubiquitous chain link fences, each rust spot a fingerprint, leading up the rungs of the tender power lines we climb. The earth was just some vehicle for their lines, for the lines we climb. The earth was just some vehicle for their work. Outside, the palms make much more sense when you realize that they are just a grass. They network, shed their fronds for antlers and tin bioscopes. They boost the cell signal of the collected good. Shot out along the highways, each of us a diaspora of use. A voice is the keen-edged instrumentality of I, broken machine. Clamber up the poles at night among the cranes and engines of translucent might clinging to my vestigial naivete. Even the foothills are red with the light of the city that stoops winged like some ambient predator no tequila could ever drown. I, strapped up here, run solace with the long-haul diesels, pouring, pouring and peering through this night scope of blackened delight. Black Labrador runs out between the cars. Barely see her as I skid, and she goes under my bumper the way I like to curl around my family and listen to them sleep. Performing the Mueller maneuver, Dr. Shore assesses his victim with profound sleep apnea, judged by the possessions of the heart, the panting, the feral start start cries of black dog from shivering speakers. Each moment stuck in the throat of now rises like the heat signature off my tires pushing the earth away hold on covered with my coat she is someone's i carry her home so curled and shaking in fetal position and half asleep i feel black shock clamber down into my nest his bones my bones, we laugh, we laugh, we. The shared phantom bone keeps my dogs barking at the black and white's muscle cars and little boys filling the loafers of their pixel sprung selfie taking fathers. A still life and the half-thawed burrito in its plastic wrapper makes up its own disclaimers to dress itself and don't touch anything. It's all evidence. A typo makes a new text threatening. I'm sleeping with your mom again. The desperate seeking of the billboard for your latch key, milked in each waiting for their return with the pneumatic hammer. I just want to see him on the trail again. Kyle's hippocampus is art displayed, the never quite dry splash of cola on drywall. One eighth full Pepsi Cola can spill rolls through the hot yellow lines of the parking lot. How you spend profound moments of your life covered in shit or someone else's ecstasy. For insurance purposes, please initialize lines two and three. 
Inwardly, mascara reflects on the lives of shared toothbrushes, hot roll of quarters, or shot of atropine, the precise placement of my bed, or your wristwatch, or your wrist in absence of wristwatch. The couple gives up on all notions of notoriety, realizes sex is more like synchronized shitting. They both feel relaxed under crossed palms. Neon cars park, leave. Cars leave, each listless entry, duel it sunward wonder, wrestle my inner Marxist as if we were the redistribution of receipts and chicken sandwich wrappers. We donate our cartilage to the roots each nose zipped off, no more lies registered by its size, ground fed as every vehicle on the earth sprouts by a pin eight, two by twos, smaller versions of smaller versions of itself. Leave Leaves we the speaker circuit and nine volt battery to form the home alarm system, hacked and without any senses, without loved ones to come within us when the day is done. On the day of her job interview, her fishbowl would be too small for you to walk by. Nothing happens here. We hold hands and pretend anyway, like the way the air hangs between your lungs and mine. You peer in like quadraphonic sound. This is the revolution back to now, turntable. Each sky kissed by a hand as the heat reddens every cheek. This bus transfer requires a few more senses. Change linger just past the point where reconciliation with my parents was possible. And now you, dear, standing there with our neighbor's wet fucking dog leaking blood into the carpet. The two Japanese fighting fish stare at each other, mirrors floating upside down. On her backs, looking out of the mirror of you, their gray yawn is an illusion. Only these humans want to lay down in the soil. We silicate, diaphanous shove, to bloom thrust our fractal pistol stamen into the waiting mouth of the sky, where I want to spread you open, my struck meteor, push inside one another. The rainbirds lush us, this circuit, prime fuck, this circuit, each cycle, live, live, even the asphalt is careening to captivate along these lines of their faults, too hot to touch, without tender, without some same, without you, no, I would remain, leap, O oh Luna, your tresses, your indecent, iridescent tides, their cities could not disarm us, their cities could not... O oh, city, you have no right to die. Inside, out, landfills. The garbage scow, landbound, overgrown with sunflowers, lists to port, becomes our veranda trailing vines, seaward creeping. The horns will scream until the last car batteries bleed dry. She folds in my arms, whimpering in her shock. You stand in your rebar and concertina wire disguise. What I love so much gone from your eyes, each unsheathed and rattling. I struck her when driving blind. Look at our seas leaking oil into animal form, each of us drilling our hard case surmise under each promise wilted. Lay among my refuse, braid the Walmart bag into your bramble thatch, let's curl together around her and listen to her final breaths so she knows we are here for her. Or let down your coiled copper hair at last. Outside the city wails, long distances to its long silence pod. How could she be all of these things on the morning of our discovery?